Hi, in this video, I'm going to give a short summary of the Dictator game. What is the Dictator game? Imagine that you are given a certain endowment, let's say $10, to be split between you and another person. And you make the decision solely. The other person has no say and no way to influence the amount which you or he or she receives. If people were purely driven out of self-interest, they would allocate the entire amount to themselves. However, this is not what we often observe. Summarizing over many experiments, we find that dictators offer around 30% of their endowment on average. And we know that demographics matter. For example, women give more than men by around 6 percentage points. And a typical college student gives less than a non-student by around 15 percentage points. We also know that experimental manipulations matter. For example, if the experimenter were to increase the endowment, dictators would take more on average, not only in absolute terms, but also in relative terms. What do we make of the dictator game? Many economists believe that the dictator game shows that there are other motivating forces besides self-interest. However, other economists have questioned this interpretation and they've come up with interpretations on their own. For example, they say the game is too simple and too abstract to draw any conclusions or that people don't want to be seen as greedy in the eyes of the experimenter. 